Yo, 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 this is Sol, also known as SPL Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt. Your artist team's called Grunt. And this is Pokemon Masters EX. Well, guys, you have said, you have told me to do more of these free to play friendly videos, and that's what I'm doing right now. So, this is a free to play method for doing Champion Stadium Elite Four or Master Mode 1500 points. And guys, before I continue, give this a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing if you haven't because we are on our way to 10k subs and I would love to have you on board with me because I am going to give away some stuff from the Pokemon Center in Japan once we reach that amount. So with that said guys, free to play meaning um, probably a couple of 4 stars here and there from Singpair Scout. Other than that, no 5 stars from Singpair Scout. Some from Legendary Events, some from Story Events and stuff. But yeah, that's it. Um, we are going to do round 1. Try not to let any of your Singpairs faint. I'm gonna try this with Lorelei first. And then my parameters over here will be Strength, Ally Move Gauge, another Strength, another Strength, Strength plus 2, and the last one will be physical damage reduction and special damage reduction. So again, strength plus 6, I move gauge max minus 2, strength plus 3, strength plus 2, and then the top 2 uh, parameters over there. I press OK. And this will be my team, guys. Sycamore gets hit first. If you don't know how to set that, go to Edit, Tactics, and set Sycamore to get hit first, followed by Blaine. Followed by Silver. As you can see over here, Blaine is still 4 stars. He does not have any um, expanded sync rate. I don't even think that he has a... Okay, he has a fast track to lucky skill, which is completely worthless. But that's our team. That's our setup. Um, Sycamore over here will just have Impervious, Horn Leech, Master Healer 1, and another 1. And then Horn Leech, Move Gauge, Refresh 3 to help us uh, quickly use uh, Horn Leech. And then we have Recuperation 1 to restore some HP after using a Sync move. And that's it. Meanwhile, we have Silver who is built in for Solar Beam. So I have Solar Beam Power plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, plus 5. I also have Ramming Speed. The faster my speed is, the stronger my solar beam will be. I have solar beam charging sun, which powers up my solar beam when the weather is sunny. And then a solar beam uh, move gauge refresh. And then over here, uh, I have, I'll show you, raises my evasiveness and critical hit rate by 1, but raises them by 2 when the weather is sunny. So what I plan to do is use this first before Blaine uses Sunny Day, and then I'll use Blaine Sunny Day, then I'll use another, I'll show you. Okay guys, intro out of the way. Here we go. I'll slow this down. I'll show you uh, probably an attack from Sycamore, and then Raging Inferno. Then now, I'll wait a bit. I'll do Sunny Day. I'll do, I'll show you, and I'll do the world this fast. From here on, I'll just use Solar Beam. Probably use another Raging Inferno. And I'll focus on Horn Leech. Well, actually, we can take down the sides first because the opponent gets weaker as we take down the sides. Let me take down the sides first. I'll use a sync move using Sycamore to maximize my special attack stat. I'll use Solar Beam or Sunny Day right now again since the weather is gonna stop with the Sunny Day. Really hit me 
right here. Ready. I'll go back using Horn Leech. Attack or trap the sides as I use Solar Beam. I think we can take down one side before the enemy uses a sync move. Not yet done. Let's see if that will take down. Yep, I'll attack the other side this time. And let me speed things up. Next sync move, I'm gonna use um, this guy, Ho. -Oh. Now it will be sunny once again after this and I can spam solar beam once again non-stop. Spam solar beam. And if the sun goes down, we just use a sync move again and spam solar beam once again. Or if the enemy decides to kill us, well, Sycamore should be more than able to handle it on his own. I think ho is gone. That's it. I'll just use Sycamore here. And since Sycamore is impervious, his stats will not go down. I'll use a sync move using... I use Blame because Sycamore sync move does not deal damage. But either way works. Now Sycamore's left. And I think we should be more than able to handle this. Just make sure you time your horn leech as well. Because sometimes when the timing is off, the enemy will be able to hit you like once or twice before you're able to recover. And that might take down your HP. But aside from that, there's practically nothing to worry about. Just a long process. But we should be safe. I'm gonna speed up the battle. Use the sync move.
Okay, the enemy will use an attack, then a sync move. So I'll wait a little bit for the opponent's attack first, then I'll use my move to recover. That's it. Just time your attacks well. Because it's unsafe to be hit by an attack followed by a sync move. You might faint. Just to be safe. And that's it guys. We are down to the last bit of HP of the opponent. Tiny bit of HP. And that's it. We're done. That's the first battle. We're good. One thousand five hundred points. Moving on, guys. Now I showcased this battle earlier uh, when I made my Misty three out of five and made him made her five stars. So same parameters. My second team is gonna involve the Misty. I'm also using Eliza. She is 5 stars. I think she's worth it to become 5 stars. It's easy to make St. Pierre's 4 stars. Slightly more challenging to make them 5 stars. She's one of those that deserve to become 5 stars. And then you can make Misty 5 stars without using any 4 star power-ups of St. Pierre's Scout. So keep that in mind. You can get those for free. Then we're using Giovanni and Mewtwo. Um, Liza does not have an expanded sync grid. I think she got Vigilance though, as a lucky skill. Giovanni over here is built for Shadow Ball um, on a roll 1. Brain Teaser, the stronger or the lower the opponent's special defense, the stronger my Shadow Ball is. Critical Strike 3 powers up Shadow Ball. And the Sync move. And then we have Misty over here. Who got Synchro Healing 1, which I don't think I'll be using a lot. Uh, because Misty will just be there to use Potion as well as Duck and Cover. Which has a 40% chance of doing an MP refresh. Duck and Cover increases my defense and special defense. Hopefully, it does an MP refresh. And with that said, we begin. I'm gonna increase everyone's special defense plus use Mewtwo's trainer move. I'll use another Nowhere to Hide. I'll use another X special defense all. Please give me an MP refresh. Nope, it did not. Oh well, we just continue. And I'm gonna speed this up. I'm gonna use Shadow Ball on Agatha. Everyone has a region effect. It's awesome. Again, if you want to recover a little bit, use Synchro Healing. Use um, Psyduck for the Sync move. And I can use Full Heal to recover my burn. Oh, the enemy missed. So that's fine. I'm going to use my sync move on either left or right side. Doesn't exactly matter. You can use it on the center, left or right. You know what? Let's attack the right side first. Thing should be easy to dispose the opponent once we attack the sides. Sadly, this Agatha does not use run along now. Okay, right dispose. Time for the left side.
every time we attack, we, we recover a little bit of HP. I'll use a sync move on Agatha. I'll go back attacking the left side. Painful. I'm not sure if we'll survive that. But we still have Psyduck who is quite not bad as a tanker. And then we still have another potion. Which I think we can use it now on Mewtwo just to be safe. Nice. Nice, an MP refresh. And that's it guys. Agatha is down. Nice. One thousand five hundred. Okay, halfway. Again, guys, if you haven't done it, do help out the channel by giving this a thumbs up so that we can get to the YouTube algorithm, get it working. But that aside, round three, use status conditions and other conditions against all opponents. Not exactly keen, and we are not going to exactly use that parameter too much. I'm going for Bruno, exactly the same thing. Swapping, and this time we are using this one. So, Lieutenant Surge is actually a BP sync pair. If you've been playing, you should be able to get Lieutenant Surge as of this rate. Because we can get like four um, BP Sync pairs out of the five right now. So, uh, Lieutenant Surge, Karen, Erika, Zinnia, and Morty. What I'm missing is Morty. Highly recommended you guys get Lieutenant Surge. One copy of each only. So, I'm using Lieutenant Surge, three out of five. And my Sync Grid for Lieutenant Surge. Why Lieutenant Surge? Because Lieutenant Surge can raise your critical hit rate to maximum in just two moves. So 10 hot raises defense as well as raises the critical hit rate of everyone, which is gonna be helpful. As well as Thunder Wave will make the opponent paralyzed. And as you can see over here, use status conditions because status conditions will apply more likely, more often. So. Paralysis will uh, hopefully happen more often. Mewtwo over here is, or rather, has Inertia and Blind Spot as the multipliers. The higher my speed is, the stronger my sync moves are. The higher my evasiveness is, the stronger my sync moves are. And then Shifty Striker will have a 30% chance of increasing my evasiveness. And Agile Entry raises my evasiveness by 2 immediately at the start of the battle. Meanwhile, Skyla is a potion pitcher slash potion slave with potion MP refresh 4. And Master Healer 2 as well as Take Flight. Okay guys, let's begin. Slow this down. I'm gonna use a World of Dreams, 10 hot, and take flight. Okay, accuracy, I do not need that. We're increasing our defenses. We're increasing our speed. The role of Lieutenant Surge is just to raise our critical hit rate. And probably to paralyze the opponent. That aside, 
that's what his role is mostly for. I'm gonna use another World of Dreams. I'm gonna use Skyla for the very first sync move for a double sync buff 6 since 6 star EX support. Then I'm gonna hit everyone one by one. Okay, everyone's paralyzed now. I'm gonna recover. We can use a potion. I'll use a sync move on Bruno. Probably attack. We did not get an MP refresh. And maximum speed. That was not a critical hit. Ooh. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> Let me try using Blizzard to hit everyone. This is kind of bad. We might lose this fight. Skyla had to survive. Okay, that's... Oh, a sing move by the opponent. We're dead. Sad. Let's just restart. Okay guys, here we go again. A world of dreams. Take flight and 10 hot. Attack plus 3 is worthless. Let's try to thunder wave this guy immediately. Attack plus 3 is worthless. Ah. Let's use a sync move first. And we have to recover like instantly after. I think earlier we did not have a potion MP refresh. Now we did have that thing. Should not be that should be a little bit easier for us now. Nice.
gonna use and hopefully this is a critical hit this time what is it? it's not a critical hit again at least there's an empty refresh for potion guys okay I'll recover I'll use a sync move. Nice. Perfect. If you're new to Champion Stadium and you're frustrated why you cannot defeat a certain stage, sometimes, guys, sometimes it just takes a couple of tries. So try again. Sometimes it's just RNG. Sometimes it's more than RNG, but sometimes try again. And maybe it's just RNG playing with you. Now we're done. That's it. We're done with this stage. So use Mew for the Psychic stage, and then use Mewtwo for the Ghost-type stage. Since we get both of them for free, use them! Speaking of free units, guys, we got two units we will be able to use right now with Lance. So same parameters, and then for this team, we're going to use two currently available Legendary units as well. Hop and Cyrus. Torchic can be uh, obtained in Main Story Chapter 20 if I'm not mistaken. So Cyrus over here is built for Spatial Rend. Power plus 3, Spatial Rend, Power plus 3. Needed to get that Water Pulse, but if I could, I will not. Critical Focus 2 basically raises my critical hit rate by 2 when I am able to land a critical hit. But I'm not too worried about that because Torchic will raise my critical hit already and Hop will also raise my critical hit with Hop to it. And then this is my grid for Hop by the way. He has healthy healing. And then Behemoth Bash, Behemoth Bash, Behemoth Bash. Yeah, we're done. Let's begin guys. Here we go. I'm gonna use one trainer move using Cyrus, then every other sync pair trainer move. New World Order hops with Blazing Hope. After this, I'll use Spatial Ren. On the center. Hop to it. Blazing Hope. If the game or if this thing decides to give us free venge, we take advantage of that. We attack using hop. I'll use a sync move using him. Do we get free venge? No, we don't. Seven thousand two hundred. Not bad. There it is, free move next, guys. We take advantage of that, we use Behemoth Bash. Oh, 
And personally, I will recover Hop right now. So that healthy benefits will work again. His passive skill will cut down the damage of the opponent's sync move. And then I'll be recovering uh, Cyrus's health. Oh! Oh! Too low. Health too low. But let's try using Hop. Let's see how he does. Since Hop's damage multiplies by 1.5 after the opponent has used its sync move. So let's see how this guy does. Probably will have a hard time though. Hop is pretty slow. Hop is pretty slow. Let's just restart this. Cyrus should be our main attacker. Okay, let's do it again. Hop to it, blazing hope. Now, hop to it can actually raise my uh, defense stats. So, it would be awesome if we get an MP refresh. And this time, I'm attacking the left side. Let's see what happens. Still no MP refresh. Okay, I'm attacking the right side. Sadly, I could not take it down. Can you give me a free vent? No. Good. I'll recover some HP using potion. Attack the other side. Now hopefully this does not take me down again. I wasn't expecting that takedown earlier. I'll use a potion. Please don't take me down. Oh man! Should he be at full health? I don't know guys, I actually tried it earlier and did not exactly die using Cyrus. Apparently he has to have full health. He has to have full health. And by the way, these are level 135 sync pairs. If you have them at level 140, that's even better. Darn it. Sorry, guys. Keep that in mind. Okay. Enough killing us. Ah, maybe it's because Hop to it did not give me an MP refresh. That's why I'm having a hard time with the defenses of. There it is, another MP refresh. Give me another one. No. I'll make sure not to make the same mistake. 
I'll recover Cyrus. There. There. Much better. Okay, this is good, this is good. Enemy will not survive this. Unless we miss. Unless we miss. Okay, done. That's it, guys. That extra plus one defense from an extra hop to it, quite helpful. And last one. The enemy is weak to poison. Now this is very fun because poison, poison, stall. And we are going to use a poison stall method. So if you hear poison stall, just press use status conditions in other conditions. It's very helpful. And let us change the parameters. So for poison stall, go for physical and special damage reduction as well as attack plus one and defense plus one. Then just go down get all HP parameters as well as attack or ally move gauge max minus 2, get all HP, get all defense, get critical hit defense, get the remaining HP, get the remaining defense, and that's it. 7,500 points. We are going to use Misty to help us recover as well as increase our special defense as well as increase our evasiveness because Janine is quite evasive, move like the wind. Venom Drench is the most important thing here. We are weakening the opponent when they are poisoned. Now we are going to use Lucy for this one as well. Poison Fang, 50% chance of leaving the opponent badly poisoned. And we're gonna wrap the opponent, leaving additional extra damage every turn. Um, Misty only has this expanded Syncrid, basically not exactly with super duper effective 5 and smart cookie. It's most important is catch as if you can friendly care which will help us recover as well as MP refresh on this thing. And next special defense all, MP refresh. Okay guys, we're ready. Let's begin. Last battle. And again, if you haven't done it, give this a thumbs up right now. Here we go. We're going to Poison Fang the center. Hopefully Venom Drench immediately and X Special Defense all. Hopefully this poisons immediately. Oh, it did not poison. For me, it's equivalent to a restart. If you don't want to have a hard time, just restart the fight immediately. But you can actually continue and try. Most important thing is the center, but we're gonna poison every right. single side. Let's do this. So again, Poison Fang, Venom Drench, and... Wrong. X Special Defense all. There it is, badly poison. I am going to poison the other side as well. Poison Fang, hopefully poison again. While waiting, move like the wind. Increase our special defense. Hopefully that poisons. Come on, poison. Nope. We wrap the center. I'm speeding this up. I'm gonna increase my evasiveness. I'm gonna poison the left side. Venom Drench. Now maximum evasiveness. I'm gonna increase my evasiveness also for Lucy. 
Now, Sing move can be anyone. I'll just use Janine for that. Not really important for the Sync move. Still not poison. Sync move will not deal damage. Very, very little damage only. We're relying on the poison and the trap to deal the damage, as you can see over there. And we have to poison the sides. Like, now. Now. Come on. Oh, they will not get poisoned. Well, that is frustrating. The center has lost its poison. We're gonna try and bring the poison back, although the trap will actually do damage. There it is. I'm trying to keep blue alive. But he'll die like very soon. Need to weaken the enemies on the sides like right now. There you go. And then I'm gonna wrap each one. There it is. They're, they're gone. Gonna wrap the sides. Gonna wrap the other side as well. Weaken them using Venom Drench. There you go, guys. You can also use Koga for a free-to-play method, but i rather use this method. It's much, much easier. Much more fun. The seeing the enemy kill itself with poison and trap is fun. Yes, we did not get hit. And that's gone. Now... That thing will also die by its own attack. So let's just enjoy this together. Done. That's the poison stall method, guys. And with that said, that is our free-to-play method for Champion Stadium this week. I hope you enjoy this. And again, consider subscribing if you haven't because I think I'm gonna do this like every single week from now on. Free to play and anti free to play method. I think I plan to do a seasonal run as well to showcase the seasonals that you can scout since seasonals are coming back in two separate banners. Stay tuned for that as well. In the meantime, this is Sol, also known as SPL Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt. The artist team's called Grunt. I'll see you in the next video. By the way, thank you to all the members of my channel. You guys are awesome. If you want to join them, click on the join button down below. Thank you, Shadow Phil, So Nicholas, Mordes Gaming, Aryan Sync, Blaze, John 909, Poplio Gaming, Roy Ackerman, Luca Media, Rimakose, Popwatt, and Visual for the support. Right.